Hey guys, tonight for dinner, me and Tammy are gonna try this Outsiders Pizza Company. It says it's damn good. We're gonna see if it's damn good or not. Uh, this one is the Chicago style pizza. I can tell you, it's a big box, it's thick. Uh, this one is the cheese flavor. It is whole milk mozzarella, provolone, tomato sauce, oregano, deep dish cornmeal crust. We bought these at Meyer. They were $8.99. Not too bad for a pizza. Um, so basically, we'll go over the calories and stuff later, but basically I preheat your oven to 400 degrees. We're gonna remove the pizza from the plastic wrap, place the pizza on the center rack, and bake for 25 to 27 minutes. Since we like our cheese a little toasty, we're probably gonna do the whole 27 minutes. So um, basically, the only other thing it said on there was cook thoroughly. So it does have a little pull tab on the side, which is always nice. Wow, that's a thick pizza. It's easy to open, that's good. Um, I'm assuming that's all tomato sauce, little blobs of tomato sauce, yeah. So that's um, it's a pretty hefty little pizza. I'm trying to see what the bottom looks like. So I'm gonna get this in the in the oven and uh, we'll be back. Okay, this is the pizza straight out of the oven and there is a lot of water on it. It's um, not appealing looking at all. Uh, Kevin's gonna sop some of it up. That's better. It's, uh, yeah, it's really watery looking. So. I think that's it. Yeah. It's those two spots, really, but. Yeah. Yeah, that was gross. <laughs> So we have our pizza. It is, it says one sixth of the pizza. How many pieces did you get? Six. Six. One sixth of the pizza, 158 grams is 420 calories. Wow. That's and pretty high. Um, it's Chicago style pizza, but it's distributed by Foundry Foods out of Cleveland, Ohio. So, so yeah. Chicago style. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Style is the key word. We thought that there was one time, uh, at one time that we saw these being sold at Kroger. But now we've looked again at Kroger and we did not see any of these. No, so the not. only place that, that uh, we've seen these now is at Meyer. So I just think that's interesting. It has like a description, I think, here or there, one of the two. Let's see. Um, at Outsiders, we're giving the best regional pizzas their moment. These pizzas come from great American cities like Detroit and Chicago, where crust is king and the cheese flows like champagne. We pay these local pizza styles tribute for one reason. They taste damn good. So, when in doubt, go deep. In the case of pizza, we're talking as deep as a cake pan with enough broad-shouldered flavor to satisfy the heartiest of appetites. Because more is more, especially on a wind-whipped Midwest day. And just like surviving a Chicago winter, the key to good Chicago pizza is layers and lots of them. A buttery wheat and cornmeal dough lays the foundation. From there, things go a bit upside down. A thick layer of stretchy white mozzarella, toppings in the middle, and a crushed tomato sauce on top. Hmm. It's the best, and it's the best is written upside down. <laughs> uh, so this has mozzarella, uh, mozzarella provolone, tomato sauce, okay. Let's see. We're not used to having the sauce on top. I like the crust, it's got a good crunch to it. I actually like the sauce, it's it's a sweeter sauce, mm -hmm. but it's good. Yeah, it is a sweet sauce. Here's the problem with eating a uh, pizza with the sauce on top, mm -hmm. when you have a mustache and a beard. Because mm -hmm. when you bite into it, your mustache goes right into the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking for a woman even, biting into it, it's like putting on lipstick. Yeah, it gets because, all over your mouth. Because normally the cheese, you bite the cheese, there's nothing sticking to your lips. The sauce tends to, it feels like it's your, it's sticking to your lips like lipstick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it that. It is, um, it's a good pizza. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's definitely not what did they call it damn good I would not say that mm -hmm. I really wouldn't 
I like the crust. Mm -hmm. I wish the crust had a little more like seasonings, but it is a good crust. It's a good crispy, mm -hmm. doughy, almost like a breadstick crust. Yeah, the crust is terrific. And if you had some butter and garlic to dip it in, um, it would be really, really good. But and if the, I shook off about half of the sauce, I'd probably like it better. The, the, the pizza itself, though, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. The cheese doesn't have a lot of no, flavor. No, the cheese is pretty And good. the tomato sauce does not have a lot of flavor. If I put about that much sauce on it, I think I'll like it better. It says oregano. Um, I just don't think it has much flavor at all. Um, it And it's not a savory sauce. It's it's a very, it's a sweeter, um, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, Papa John's is kind of a sweet. Now, it's no comparison to Papa John's, but... Uh, Papa John's has a sweeter sauce. It's more like that than a savory yeah, sauce. This is even sweeter, actually. Mm -hmm. And you wipe off most of it like that, mm -hmm. where it's almost all gone. It's really good. <laughs> oh, it's not really good. It's much better because it's really more of a cheese stick at that point. Mm -hmm. the, the sauce is just too sweet for me. I don't mind it. It's not a bad pizza. No. I mean, but, I would eat it, but... But it's not one I would buy again either, no. especially for nine dollars. No, it didn't make my list. You know what? Honestly, if it was four, if it was half of that price, I still wouldn't buy it because there's just other, there's better pizzas out there mm -hmm. that I am willing to pay more money for. Mm -hmm. So this one just doesn't cut it for me. But I agree. We have bought two other Outsiders pizzas. They're totally different. They're not Chicago style. They're Detroit. Style. They're both Detroit style. So they're going to be two totally different experiences. So we're, we'll go in t with an open mind for those. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.